think the MCR is really very good at generating feedback. It does very quickly generate very specific feedback to that particular trainee to identify the training needs for the next three to six months. And also allows you to say how near the end of training a trainee is. In my experience, there's a lot of informal feedback that takes place. Um, sometimes good, sometimes not very useful. Someone telling you you're really good, it's nice, makes you feel good, but it, it, it doesn't mean a lot. Um, uh, and I think uh, having a structured feedback li uh, mechanism like the MCR uh, will, uh, will change that. The tools that we're using, the work-based assessments, are, are very blunt and they, they do become a very sort of tick box uh, exercise. You, you can get more colour into these, these MCRs, explore the nuances of the trainees and I think more importantly set the trainees' development plans to address the issues that are picked up by multiple members of the team. One of the things I've found with feedback is it's actually, you know that someone's not quite ready, but it's quite difficult to find the words to feed back to somebody. And so the GPCs come with lots of phrases that can be used for feedback. The, and the, and the um, CIPs have lots of the descriptors as prompts. And so when we were thinking, well, they're not quite you know, ready to be a, a consultant yet, a day one consultant, but here are some things, that, you know, can we think of what it, what it is that they need to do? And when we put the descriptors up, actually we could pick out, oh yeah, it's okay, it's, it's that one, that one, and, and that one. So that was all very helpful, actually. Um, and that I got feedback um, that um, was targeted in specific areas as opposed to being more generic, um, that tended to be the case in the past. In some way, I've said this before, it's almost a return back to the apprenticeship system where you can have a, develop a relationship with your trainee and then reflect that in a meaningful ma manner to the panel so that they can make an informed process to set the goals for the next year of training. You always have anxieties uh, when you, when you uh, receive feedback uh, and uh, I think it's just part of life, you have to embrace it.